Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Friday and everybody's ready for the weekend. Well, today we're going to be working on these tulips I got from Everyday E-Crafts a long time ago. And it is a 40 by 50 and it has 25 colors. And we are right up here in this top area and it is an 11 count so yeah let's just work on this I found this on the way to looking for something else and I still can't find it so we'll see we will see and we already started with this yellow color or yellow symbol I should say Hang on, we got everything just six ways from Sunday today. So let's get down and see what we can see. So yeah, how's everybody doing? I hope you're having a lovely day. Yesterday it was really nice. I mean like all day. And if the wind blew maybe for a half an hour really really hard it might have rained I don't know I didn't go out there you know but other than that I, about seven o'clock last night I decided I was gonna go and get some chicken tenders I told you we had a uh, truck stop at the other end of town and yeah I went out there and got some chicken tenders and have some left over for today but uh, yeah they were really good and the weather you know I guess that's where I was going with all that the weather was just lovely the Sun was shining so bright I had to keep moving my visor on my car so that the Sun wouldn't shine in my eyes and there were some little clouds here and there but other than that looked just fine so yeah I spent most of the day inside I didn't go anywhere we decided not to go anywhere and do anything so yeah I just took the opportunity to stitch most of the day watch a little YouTube watch some Netflix and that was about all I did. Did take a two hour nap. I needed it badly for some reason. <clears throat> so. There is a purple in between there that is kind of pale. So I'm trying not to stitch over those symbols. We'll just keep on moving here maybe maybe baby or I'll just take that out and we'll go on oh goodness yeah I just did not feel like much of anything yesterday now today I gotta go and do laundry oh yay Fun times, I did get the trash taken out. Oh my gosh. That was a piece of work. I had to lift up that lid on that trash can because it was closed and try to get the trash in. Yeah, that took a little bit, but got it taken care of. Didn't get any mail, so there won't be a review today. But I thought I'd just do some easy stitching. I stitched on the, oh God, what is it? Oh my Lord. Oh, those uh, poppies for most of yesterday. It's that 14 count. I got actually got one poppy flower done. Yeah, it, it's going kind of slow, so I needed to see some kind of 
progress. So that's why I got an 11 count out. I was still looking for the cat. I don't know what I did with it. Not at all. So I'll keep looking. Uh, yeah, that was about the sum total of my day yesterday. Just not in the mood to do anything. Wash dishes, take out trash, you know. Stupid crap, you know. It just... Because every once in a while I do have to get up and move. Or else I start feeling like my back is broke. And that's why I went and laid down. Because yesterday I did a lot of bending and stooping over to put stuff away and get them on hangers at work. So, it was a lot of time on my feet. Oh, I was going to tell you what color this is. Hang on. 760 is what this color is. It's kind of a peachish orange, if you will. And I'm still wearing my thimble because I've been working on that 14 count and driving that needle into my finger, I'm telling you. Fun times. Fun times. When I went into town uh, last night, there was not a lot of traffic at all. So maybe there'll be... But they're either where they have to be, or I don't know when the rodeo starts, so. Yeah, but it is. Okay, so we have the other end of town where I go to the, the truck stop to get the chicken. That's all the way, like, I'm here, and the truck stop's out here. And then the rodeo is up this way, so, by the mountains. Whoop. Like, what is that? So, yeah, there was not a lot of traffic in town at all. I was shocked. Oh, there's people at restaurants, you know, that kind of thing. But as far as driving traffic, it wasn't bad at all. And I didn't want to go to the grocery store. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I wanted some chicken tenders instead of fried chicken. Get a little sick of fried chicken, but... I don't know what I'm going to have this weekend. I usually make one big thing, and then I have it for a couple days or so. But nothing is jumping out at me. And it's not that it's too hot. Sometimes in the summer it gets too hot, and I do not want, you know, like a roast or, or fried chicken or, you know, heavy stuff. I'd rather have a salad or something like that. Nothing is just jumping out. I, I got nothing. I don't know. We'll make a decision. I did make my uh, salmon patties. Well, they weren't everything they were meant to be. So, yeah. I ate those for like mid-afternoon lunch, if you will. About 1 o'clock. And I had some french fries with it. I was not making mashed potatoes. See, here we go. So, yeah. I didn't know what I wanted. Okay, thread. Really? It's just going to play with me. The whole time. fringy part. Where did it go? I know. This is a threader, but I don't want to disturb all them threads. So. I just thought I'd get this out. I've been working on poppies and peonies and oh, yeah, there's another thing we need to address. I will no longer be um, 
what do you call it, ordering any kind of 16 or 18 counts since I watched um, Lovecraft Forever at any store. Now, I don't know. I may have a 16 count coming. I, I can't remember. But from this point on, I uh, no. Because the die in the 16 and the 18 count do not come out of the material. So, I won't be buying any more. And I won't be encouraging you to buy any more. So, until they fix that. Nope. Piss me off. And Natalia, she was pissed too. It, it's irritating that they can't get things together. Now, I have yet to see any of the 11 counts or 14 counts that will not wash out. Um, I've had watched several videos of people, you know, getting the dives out of these. So, until that happens, no. I don't know. They changed the die. I've even spilt a drop of water on one, and the the dye has started to come, you know, starting to, I'll call it disintegrate, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so I know it's not a problem with these, but these new 16 and 18 counts, I am irritated. Now, I did order one that I can remember. I can't remember if it's a 16 or an 18 count. And I don't know who it's from. So I can't remember that part. But it's done in gray tones. Like grays. And, I think grays and maybe black. I don't know if it goes quite that dark. But, um, and it did say on that site that for that particular one, yeah, because that's the first time I'd ever seen that, that uh, you won't be able to get the dye out because of the material that they have to use. So I never thought anything about it. Well, yeah. So, and it's done in grays, and I'm not sure how good it's going to be or not. So, I will take a look at it before I ever start stitching to see if it's something I want to do. Now, I know my, one of my friends here on YouTube has gotten, I don't know if it's 16 or 18 again, but they tried to wash out the, the stuff and it didn't come out and they turned the whole thing over. And they're doing it as a counted. And it's a full coverage. So, I haven't seen her work on it since then, but that doesn't mean that she's not working on it still. So, I don't know. But, yeah, it's pretty irritating. So, hopefully they will fix that. I'm not sure... But until, you know, I get the word that they're, they've fixed it, until that point, I am not ordering any from the order of the places that I review. So, and I would encourage you not to buy any until they get this straightened out. But, yeah. Sure is a pretty color peach. And I probably got at least 
eight to ten places that I will be doing reviews from or for. And I can't remember. I think I only got one 16 count because I wanted to see what the material looked like. Basically, so. But beyond this point, I will not. And the ones I do have a few. What I will do is um, with them is probably trash the the canvas and keep the threads as spares if I need it for anything. So, yeah. And if you have purchased any, I would contact the company and ask for your money back. That's just my opinion of the whole thing. Because you should know, you know, and buy in faith that um, this, this die is going to come out. So... Like I said, I haven't had a problem with 11 or 14 count myself or finished any of the, the 18 count. So, we'll see what happens. Right, got that one done. Like I said, I haven't got much on this done at all. In fact, I think I bought, this is one of them that I bought twice. I have a couple more, what do you call them? Tulip ones that I had. I'm, I collected tulips and then I collected peonies. And, yeah. Trying to keep you in the scope of the thing here so y'all can see what's going on. Well, that's attractive. Let's just drive that into my nail. My hand. Didn't even see that needle there. I think this is going to be beautiful when it's done. It has lots of beautiful pinks and peaches and reds. Well, not reddish, but kind of reddish orange. Yeah, that makes me mad because I got those 18 count, like, pagoda looking houses. Yeah, irritating. Now, if it was all done in dark colors, you might not have a problem. But if you've got lights, it's going to show through. And it might show through on some of the others as well. I'm just in a conundrum, I guess. I don't know. Just irritated. I 
Thank goodness I didn't get very far on any of them that I have started. Might just chuck the uh, the uh, the canvas and hang up the picture. And then I don't have to worry about it. But years later, I'll probably go. What happened to that? Yeah. Mm hmm. And my idea of a good time is not doing it. What do you call it? As they counted. You know how I feel about that. That full coverage thing just hmm, drives me crazy. That's why I do samplers and other things. I don't want to get in the middle of a, a counted. What is the problem here? I have to keep this towards light or I'll never see that purple. It's so pale. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. Maybe I should have done the purple first. Oh, well, it'll all get done. One way or another. But I thought this yellow was nice and it went for a long distance so I wouldn't have to stop and start too much. That part I liked. I have to go back and put all that purple in. Not real sure. I haven't stitched on this in a long time. I thought I was further along on this than I was. Alright guys. Well I think. That. Uh, that is going to be it today. Thank you for joining me. And pull that through so we can see if you can see all the different various shades here thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please help the bell hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye keep stitching